Come on, peek again. Oh! Third might of the year? Oh! Right, welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So season three reloaded is here and we finally have the ballistic knife in Warzone. This is something I've been waiting for since the ballistic knife dropped in Black Ops Cold War. And honestly, I've been waiting for the ballistic knife to be in Warzone since the start of it. And if you guys are as excited as I am for the ballistic knife in Warzone, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's see if we can hit 15,000 likes on today's video. And here the ballistic knife is right here. And it looks pretty much exactly how it does in Black Ops Cold War. But the great thing about the ballistic knife is the fact that it is a secondary weapon. I was kind of concerned that it may end up being a primary weapon under the melee category with the riot shield but it is a ranged weapon under the melee category as a secondary so that means that we're not going to have to get a loadout with overkill and then eventually get a second loadout with restock now when it comes to the stats for the ballistic knife it's kind of misleading because the mobility isn't as low as it may seem when it comes to the stat bar at the bottom um it did actually concern me at first because i've seen this weapon in the blueprints the black ink or i think it's called the black ink uh the black yeah the black ink knife i've seen it in the blueprints and i've seen that it had really low mobility but when it comes to the stats for the ballistic knife the stats are nowhere near as good as what the cali sticks are as you guys can see right here i'm going to compare the stats between the ballistic knife and the cali sticks you can see a huge difference in terms of mobility now i have used the ballistic knife in game and i got a pretty good gameplay i'm gonna show you guys here in a little bit uh the mobility for this weapon is higher than what it actually shows it does show in the stat bar that the mobility is lower than the riot shield but in game it's not slower than the riot shield i think when they were going about the stat bar at the bottom they were factoring in other aspects of the weapon since it is a ranged weapon so don't completely freak out when you see the mobility is significantly lower than the other melee weapons and then when you compare it to the modern warfare knife you have a little bit more damage the ballistic knife is a two hit kill to the body and a one hit kill to the head and then also to finish it off there is the comparison to the dual kadakis so just to sum this up so none of you guys are confused the ballistic knife is a one hit kill to the head it's a two hit skewer to the body and then you also have to skewer them once while downed so when a player is downed all you have to do is skewer them once you don't have to hit them in the head just hit them in the body and they will be dead when it comes to meleeing with it it's a two hit kill and then also a two hit stab when they're downed and trust me the mobility in game isn't as chalked as what these stats actually show it's a whole lot better than what you guys might think but at the end of the day nothing's gonna be as fast as the cali sticks i just don't think anything ever is gonna be able to compete with the cali sticks close range but anyways i'm gonna leave you guys with the gameplay i've done enough talking here about the ballistic knife i just want to give you guys a quick little rundown about the weapon just so you do know when you actually use it in game uh hopefully you guys end up enjoying the gameplay if you do like i said before make sure you drop a like down below and also subscribe if you are new to the channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss out on upload anyways without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the gameplay all right man i don't know what i'm feeling in terms of where i want to land today because downtown's kind of chalked because that's a new poi i'm pretty sure that's a whole new building there so there's gonna be a lot of people landing there and i don't want to deal with that i just want to get my load out quick as i possibly can and then move on you know so maybe we land out here in prom west but then again it's gonna be super dead Maybe we land dealer. Let's just see how dealer goes. I know it's a little bit of a hot drop in terms of, you know, being outside a superstore, but there's not too many people left in the plane right now. So, or helicopter, sorry. It's definitely a helicopter. Let's just see how it goes here. Hopefully nobody else lands here. Hopefully we can loot up fast and then end up getting our loady. Oh, really? Somebody shooting at me already? It's like that, buddy. It's like that. Wow. But I have no idea why this happened when I hopped on the game, but apparently all of my settings for Warzone got reset. I don't know if you guys have dealt with that too, but as soon as I hopped on, it said I needed to change a bunch of stuff and it completely reset my settings. So I'm running off of random stuff that I just put together in the time being. So I don't have all of my normal settings right now. So my audio settings are kind of chalked. It doesn't sound like it normally does for me, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm sorry if I do end up not hearing somebody when it was clear that they were on a certain floor just whatever it is because my my audio is Definitely not on par right now. I'm gonna change it afterwards, but I just don't have time to look into it right now I already spent like 30 minutes looking at it. So uh, I, I just don't have the time here to get a video up tonight and actually be able to go to sleep at a halfway decent time if I keep looking at it and trying to figure it out. Uh, but anyways, we are not close to the Lodi. I don't know what we're gonna do here. There's a chest there. We can go and loot that and see if we can get enough. But, uh, I mean, definitely not going to get enough from here unless we get a gold chest on the other side. Oh, another satchel. So, maybe outside of Superstore if it hasn't been looted. Maybe we can get lucky. Oh, I just got sniped at. Nah, it's definitely been looted. Ah, uh, we got sniped from over there. I think they may have already had their Lodi. Okay, I almost got C4'd as well. That is not good. I'm just hitting up fire and just hoping for the best, guys. 
Okay, so not a bad start. This is bound to have been looted already, right? Yeah, I think that door has already been opened. Uh, that's a little bit of cash there. I'll scoop that up. Wait, it hasn't been looted. There's like no cash in here though, unfortunately. Oh, there's a little bit. We still need a little bit more. There we go. We got enough for the loadout. Let's go. Okay, well, I can't go to that buy station. I'm gonna have to hit this buy station right here, guys. As much as I, I don't want to hit this one, we're gonna have to hit it. Put it on that side of the wall. Scoop the munitions, and we'll just hope for the best here. There we go. I don't hear anybody. Although I don't know how efficiently I can hear right now. Oh, the Blister Knife takes uh, rocket ammo. Let's go and inspect it, though. Okay, it's the same inspect element as uh, Black Ops Cold War. Okay. But it does take rocket ammo, which is kind of weird. I don't know what I was expecting, but I definitely wasn't expecting rocket ammo for a melee weapon. I don't know about you guys, but that, that's kind of off. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Oh, there's a guy that got a loadout right here. Oh. He's right there on the roof. Enemy UAV overhead. And you're knifed. Oh, dude, that was sick. Okay, so it doesn't actually seem like it has bad lunge at all. The lunge seemed pretty solid. This is the melee right here, guys. It's pretty fast. And the lunge seemed like it connected pretty good. It didn't seem like it was like the knife where it's just like a little whiff. Uh, so that's a good sign. That is definitely a good sign. I don't know what he put on this vehicle, but the vehicle looks like it's down bad. So I'm assuming he hit it with either a thermite or a C4. Where can we go? Can we get a bounty going anywhere close? Okay, bounties in Boneyard. There's some bounties out here as well. Just don't know how good of an idea it is to go over there in a hurt vehicle, but I guess we can go ahead and make our way over there and see and <laughs> hope for the best. All right, there's the bounty. Oh, it's on somebody in police. I'm just gonna go over there and head for him. Man, I wanna see if it's a one hit kill to the head. I really wanna see that. I have no idea if it's going to be or not. It's definitely not a one hit kill to the body. Oh, he's got a trophy. You're dead. We got self res. We're good to go. Ooh, that lunge was pretty solid. I like the lunge. I'm gonna have to get used to it though. Definitely gonna have to get used to it. I didn't even try to stun because I know he put down a, uh, a trophy in there. I just thought it would be dumb to even try to do that, you know? So, oh wait, let's go ahead and destroy this just in case I don't want it to cuck me going forward if he comes back in and tries to get his loot or something. Lodies are in. Let's go ahead and refill our ammo because that'll give us max RPG ammo, which would be seven. I guess that's why they did it because RPG ammo doesn't have as much as other weapons and you can't have like a thousand ballistic knives or something, you know? Let's get self. UAV and a spare. All right, let's get going towards this guy over here. Oh, he's a little far off. Factory's a bit closer, but I'm not sure. He could get roof over here mad easily. And he may be going for that right here, right now. But this ballistic knife seems like it's going to be a game changer, bro. It really does. I'm loving it so far. The mobility doesn't seem too slow either. The mobility seems pretty good. Recon overflight inbound. There we go. One hit headshot, bro. It's a one hit to the head. That's insane. Oh, well, we kind of missed that one, and he backs out. <laughs> he got a little mad. You definitely could tell he got mad. Uh, there is a bounty fairly close. Uh, do we take the deady and drop? Nah, let's just keep the munitions for now. Let's see where this is going to take us. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to the buy station over here. Hit it up, get a UAV and a spare. Get that and a spare going. Okay. We got some decent action over here. Guys on... Okay, there's a guy back in factory. I'm assuming the same guy from before. Just landed back in. I don't know. The guy on down low, this building over here. Let's go and mark it just to make sure we know. He may hop back in the ATV. No shot. That's a different guy. You need to die. Die. <laughs> oh my god. I'm kind of bad with this ballistic knife right now. I'm not going to front. I think this dude's heading for the hangar here. I'm not mistaken. 
I don't think he's in this building close. Oh, there's a little click with the ballistic knife when you put it away. So I wonder if enemies can hear that. That's interesting. I don't think he's... he. Oh. No way. One hit to the head, baby. <laughs> Yo, this could really be good for people that are camping, man. Camping in windows and stuff, just get a one-hit headshot, but if they do have self-res, that's gonna be kind of rough, you know? I kind of want to get a munitions here and go after this guy that I have a bounty on. But then again, hitting this buy station is very risky. Here we go. He's got to be camping. Oh, no way. Is this guy coming for me in the ATV? I'm pretty... No, he's not. He's going the other direction. That's good. He went to the hangar over there, though. All right, we have one stun. That's not good. All right, we know the little shit's still in here. All right, you're just gonna get stabbed, dude. I don't care. I'm tired of you. <laughs> I'm tired of dealing with that person, bro. Uh, okay, we'll just take that. All right, let's go snag up this bounty over here. Let's hope this nobody's close. I'm sorry I'm a little inconsistent with this ballistic knife. I just, honestly, guys, I'm trying to get used to it. You can't expect me to be the greatest first game using it. I'm trying my best. I really am, but it's kind of rough to get used to right now. I'm not used to shooting stuff in Warzone. I'm really not. Like, you know, especially being, like, super accurate with something like this. If I used a crossbow more, it'd probably be a whole lot better, but... The fact that I didn't use the crossbow much, it kind of makes this a little difficult to use. The person we have a bounty on, oh, it got, okay, he got poached. Interesting. I'm thinking maybe we can go over here and take this guy out. I mean, I don't want to get too greedy here. Oh, I knew I seen someone. There we go. You're dead, buddy. But I kind of want to go in there and scoop the bounty and then dip. Yep, we'll take that. I seen two other people on the UAV factory and then the other spot. Oh, this is gonna be rough. The person we have a bounty on is directly in front of me here. They're in superstore. They may hold us. Hopefully they don't, but they might. Doesn't seem like they're gonna hold us, which is a great thing. They'll probably end up going up top of superstore though. Right, he's definitely over here somewhere. You're dead. Woo! Hmm, maybe we can go over here and hit this buy station. I don't know. That's kind of a risky one to hit, you know I'm gonna try to go over here and hit it man. If I don't hit it somebody else will and somebody else will get a UAV and find out where I am Okay, it's one street over here kind of want to go for that That's very intriguing Yeah, I kind of want to go for it. I'm gonna go for it guys two people top airport as well We got a spare UAV to use too that's already been looted. He's gonna find out real quick that it's been looted and he's gonna head this way. He's kind of vibing in here. UAV entering the AO. Yeah, he's kind of chilling. I wanna wait for him to make a move before I do anything stupid. Oh. Okay, well, I kind of missed his head. I was going for his head, bro. I definitely was. Okay, one's down low and one's on the up top area here. I don't know if they're all the way up top, though. I kind of want to go and buy a UAV, but then again, I feel like that might be a horrible idea here. Here we go. Oh, one's... Dude, he's really all the way up there. Oh, I had to go for it. Yeah. Unfortunate, bro. There he is right there. No way, dude. That's good shots. Dude. I gotta go. Recon's up. 
Come on. Thank you. I'm taking the berth and dipping. Not worth it in my opinion. He's up there. Hopefully he doesn't have like C4s or anything. Ah, oh, dude. Oh man, I'm cucking myself here. I'm cucking myself hard here, bro. Oh, he misses thermite. He's right there. All right, buddy. Where are you gonna come from? Oh yeah, he's screwed. Really? Oh, he's stuck. He's dead. Good luck with that. <laughs> Yo, that's so funny. Oh, man. I'm gonna try to get over here and scoop this bounty before the storm takes it. No, no, gas. Don't take the bounty. Don't take it from me. There we go. All right, so on somebody over there to our far right. All right, let's figure out where we need to be. All right, we need to get a vehicle, and we need to get to, like, here. We need to play. We, we really need to play the uh, the position game here. Oh, full health, Bertha. Wow. You love to see it, baby. You just love to. I don't know. We don't have enough for another UAV. I was going to say, maybe we could hit a buy station, figure out where some people are on the outskirts, and just try and take them out. But that might prove to be a little rough here. And I don't trust trying to kill somebody in one of these buildings here because they're probably already posted up. He's above me. He knows I'm under him. He has to know. And you are meleeed. Honestly, the melee's not too bad with this, bro. It's really not. I knew he was up here somewhere. Just wasn't exactly sure where he was. Uh, can I get your plates? Thank you, sir. I'm gonna hold on to my cash in case I need to get a munitions. The only thing that concerns me is people coming to this area and hopping in a Bertha. But the fact that this door is open kind of makes people think that they can go in this way, you know? Usually somebody camping inside of a building doesn't leave a door open. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm pretty much camping. Strategical non-movement. Same shit, right? And honestly, sometimes you just have to camp. You just have to in solos, bro. It's mandatory. That vehicle is hurting. And someone just hopped in this one too. I knew it was gonna happen, bro. I knew it was gonna happen. I honestly don't know how to play this, guys. I really don't. There's four other players left. Yeah, we have buildings, but these buildings are kind of rough for doing what we're doing. No way, he's all the way up top. I got a fresh one, baby. That one can't be fresh. Oh my God, he shot me up pretty good. Oh, what? So it's three people in Bertha's and one not. Well, he got killed by his own Bertha. I'm pretty sure. Let's go. I was trying to figure out what I needed to do there. He was hurting, bro. I knew if I hit him once with a ballistic knife, I would get the dub. Man, that was so intense towards the end. I was really nervous because I didn't know what to do. There's so many vehicles, so many Berthas in that area. The black rose skin got the up top vantage on the building. I usually don't get that nervous, you know, but I just didn't know what to do in that situation. That building wasn't great for what we were doing. Like, you know, somebody could have easily stuck me with a thermite. You suck, man. That's the perfect way to end the Fuck video. <laughs> You'll love to hear it, baby. You'll love to hear the reactions at the end. Fourth quarter shot, you know I get a ball and money in my pocket. No, I'm no stranger to ball and no, I feel a gamble, but I promise that I'm.